Hi everybody, Happy New Year. It's um, Sunday the 10th of January, it's uh, just after 12.30. Um, I'm in the back garden today, the UK is in quite a strict lockdown at the moment. <clears throat> Our Covid cases are going through the roof. Um, so I'm going to do some stuff in the back garden today, just practice a few uh, things. Isaac is going to have a go at uh, making a one match fire, uh, making some bannock and brewing some coffee. Um, he's in the house we're doing some homework at the moment so I'm just going to prepare a bit of wood for him for when he comes out so when he's finished his homework he'll be joining us. Um, I hope uh, the new year finds you well. Um, I'm off work today obviously I'm back at work tomorrow I will be having the Oxford Covid vaccine tomorrow um, so yeah things are changing aren't they um, things are pretty bad where I work uh, as they are in most hospitals um, very bad and some you know I can't really explain how bad it is really but I don't want to go into that but you know what's going on anyway looking forward to having the vaccine tomorrow today is about doing some stuff which I haven't been able to do I can't get out into the woods uh, we can only go out once a day for exercise um, so I can't go into the woods and make a fire and cook dinner and stuff like that we can't go we can't stay overnight anywhere so I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, practice some stuff in the garden and luckily I've got this little corner in our garden which I can use. I've signed up for a course, I'm doing Frontier Bushcrafts online bushcraft course, elementary bushcraft um, with, with Paul Kirtley. Uh, I've got it, I've got a very good deal on it, I've got it in the Black, Black Friday sale so it's almost half price. And it gives me a good chance of being able to just practice things really, learn in my own time, practice skills. So, well, I'm going to um, uh, process some wood and I'll wait for Isaac to come out and uh, when he's out, uh, get back to me. See you soon. So one of the first things we need to do is gather some very fine twigs. So when Isaac comes out, we're going to use this bush. It is in the garden, but it's dead. There's lots of dead, dry twigs in there. So we don't have to go out and look for them. We've got a ready supply here. So yeah, um, Isaac will be out in a minute. He did do, well, maybe a minute, who knows? He's doing his homework, you know what kids are like. Um, he did try the one match fire yesterday and did it, succeeded first time. Uh, he also tried bannock for the first time and brewed the coffee yesterday. So he did practice yesterday and managed to succeed. So to, today is all about making sure it wasn't a fluke. These are some things I've learned on my uh, course, particularly the one match fire. So it's been nice for me to learn these things, have a go and then teach Isaac. Um, as you can see, there's evidence of the fire he made yesterday. Um, so um, let's see how long he's going to be. Isaac, yeah? have you finished your homework yet? No. No. So he might be out today. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so this is the start of the first pile. You want literally matchstick thin sticks, dry sticks, dre dead standing sticks. Um, basically dead dry wood that's not been on the floor. As I'm looking to have this bush in the garden somebody told me recently oh you should pull that out whereas i was thinking oh no i could use that to practice my fire lighting skills <laughs> so um ideally you want a, bu a bunch like this about an armful and then split it into two i mean if you're out in the woods and you want to get that real oomph 
uh, as they describe it on the course, to, particularly on a day like today, which is cold and damp and the ground is sodden, to, to punch through that heat and to get your bigger pieces of wood going. So, um, as I say, Isaac's still doing his homework. And mind you, I can't moan about him too much because he did do it yesterday. And then this is the second pile, or the start of it anyway. So you go up uh, in, in sizes, and then you go up another size. So you want to start with finger thick, and then like thing go up through the sizes of your fingers, go up to your index finger, and then up to thumb thickness. So you've got three or four different sizes of wood, and they describe it as going through the gears. So you go through first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Without that, the fire will struggle getting going, particularly on a damp, cold day like today. One thing I wanted to show you today was my new leather sheath from Ramier's Woodlaw, which was specifically designed to fit the Mora heavy duty companion. I've had this knife for quite a while, and a lot of you will be familiar with these. I've just given it a sharp and I've used it a lot this knife as you can see I've got a nice sharp edge on that blade it's like a razor but I wanted something just to elevate it because this knife will last me a long long time and if it breaks I'll buy another one um, and I wanted something just to just to elevate it a bit and to look after it and basically look good you know um, and this I saw this advertised I've seen a few on the internet um, but you can't go wrong with the quality of the stuff from the Woodlaw website uh, the attention to detail and this is specifically designed for this knife it's excellent quality leather it's handmade and hand stitched and it fits the knife absolutely perfectly it's got that lovely leather smell to it and if you put the knife in it fits absolutely perfectly doesn't come out snug as a bug in a rug and it just looks after that knife it's not going to fall out of that sometimes the Mora sheaths aren't as um, as secure as you'd like them to be but this is absolutely perfect if you just look at the fit of that um, and I think practically it's a wonderful thing. This sheaf will last me a lifetime if I look after it. This cost me just over £30, but it'll last me forever, and I think it's worth it to look after such a faithful companion as the Mora. And I got it for Christmas off my wife. And as I say, I got it from the Woodlaw website. And if you look at the profile there, it's just um, perfect, really. This is the mini fire anchor from TGM Metalworks. I've used it quite a few times and I really like it. The only thing I might swap is the, the grill arm and perhaps replace it with a smaller pan arm. It's small, it's light and it's really well made. I got this over a year ago well, actually, yeah, I got it round about last uh, April, May, just as the lockdown started. So I haven't really been able to use it 
outdoors in anger. I've used it quite a few times here in the garden. So as you can see, I've got all the wood prepared in various sizes and stages dotted around at hand fire areas clear got a stuff for a day i just need to go and get the coffee and make the bannock mixture um rumor has it that isaac has actually finished his homework isaac's joined us he finished your homework haven't you son yes so and you had to go at this yesterday yeah i'll put some of the pictures of him doing it yesterday to prove that he did actually do it yesterday so we're going to do it again today to prove yeah. it wasn't just a a lucky shot eh? yeah okay the importance of just uh, of this is just to learn how to uh, start a fire from a tiny flame really um, so I've gathered some dry sticks you're gonna get a few more yeah okay let's do that yeah see ya now I think they were chopped before you need them longer than that don't you remember yeah. yesterday you, that, you can use those anyway just I think a lot of the long ones have gone but you used them all yesterday yeah, most of them. But the more we get, the better, I think. Yeah. It's too big. Right, so I, so Isaac, we start with the base, don't we? Yeah. So you want to put it underneath where that's going to be, don't you? So that's going to be, so, put it about there, that's yeah. it, perfect. So Isaac's doing his fire lay, doing the base. It's very important to do the base, isn't it? Yeah. Especially when the ground is cold and damp like this. Perfect. Then you can get one across the top, can't you? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so Isaac's going to use birch bark today, aren't you, to get your fire going? Yeah. So you want to put that in a nice pile. So it lights. Yeah. So we're going to be lighting this fire with a match today, aren't we? So it's a nice pile of birch bark. So now you want your thin twigs, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So it's got a nice pile of twigs, haven't you? And you want to split them into two, don't you? Yeah. That's it. So you want to lay them in a V over the top of that. This one. So maybe you want to have that bit more central. Yeah. So it actually lights, not that. And lay that on top of that. Perfect. So, Isaac's got his tiny twigs there, so maybe we should just move this one just over a little bit more in the centre so it catches, but it should, maybe it should be alright, I don't know. Mm. That should catch, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should. So, the moment of truth. Do you want to see if it'll light? Yep. Go on then. Do you have the matches? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We haven't got a small box of matches, but Isaac's been practicing how to um, cup the match and protect it from the wind. You remember what to do that as well, don't you? Yeah. So let's see if we can get this lit with one match. Oh, that's it. We'll take the box. Protect it from the wind. Okay, try and get that birch lit. Watch it in a couple of other places, see if it catches. Watching. So it's caught light to the birch. So if the rest of that birch catches, we should have. I just think this pile should be a bit more central over there, because this pile ain't going to... That's it. That's it. It should light, shouldn't it? 
Yeah, it's lot on. So see where that V is there should be over the central bit of where the the thing is, but it's gonna catch. Okay. It's gonna catch if you just leave it, it should catch. If it doesn't we'll start again. It should catch those twigs. Looks like it's catching onto the rest of the birch bark. Yeah it is. Well done, Isaac. That's going. Thank you. That's well and truly caught. Well done. Just using one match. So Isaac's just manipulated the branches just to get a bit more air in it. So we can start putting the thicker twigs on it now. That's catching good and proper. So Isaac's put some of the thicker sticks on there and that's burning well. It's burning very well now, isn't it? So it proves that yesterday wasn't a fluke, you can do it. No. <laughs> I can do it perfectly well. <laughs> yeah, well done, sir. So Isaac's now added some bigger pieces of wood which are just starting to take and that fire is burning very hot. So, do you want to go make in some coffee, son? Yeah. So, you need the kettle. Get the kettle. Okay, just put it on a flat surface somewhere. Put it on a... You can leave it on the table. Put it on the table. Leave it on the table. There you go. So, you want your water. And you want to fill the water up to about here. Okay. Not for a couple of cups. Actually, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, then. Sorry. Okay. And then you want to get your coffee. Your coffee. Coffee. I normally put it in one that wants the water. It's a little bit warmed, but we, we can do this. We can uh, We can do it today. So you want to get a spoon. Did I bring that a spoon? Oh, yeah, there we go. So you want to put a couple of spoons in. A couple of heap spoons. That's it. One of them. And another one of them. That should do you. Okay. okay. You don't need to stir the coffee, just put the lid on. Yep. Okay, now you need to flip that handle up so it flips up, it all lock in place. Bing. Okay. There we go. So now you want to put it on the put it on this arm here. Absolutely perfect. So you can do all that away from the fire, you see? Yep. So you can just you can adjust this. I'll move it on down and then once the weight's on there okay it'll keep it there and to move it you just take the weight off and then you can move it up and down see what I mean yeah so you probably want it round about there so just swing that over so it's over the fire perfect there we go. so the coffee's brewing then so coffee's now on the go. Excellent. Done no time. Now Isaac's never made coffee before over the fire and you don't actually like coffee, do you? When you no. when you did it yesterday you tried it and you don't like it, do you? No, I really How's your homework? 
good. It was quite good actually. It, it was it was easy, but it was just long. Yeah. One of those things. Maybe not something I should leave to the last day. Well, you've had a lot of work to do this week, haven't you? Yeah. It's been hard because of COVID, having to do these online lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Isaac, that, that coffee's bubbling. You can see it in the spout, really bubbling away there. Oh, so wow. if you just move the arm over, away from the fire, swing it round, that's it. Swing it round, that's it, just leave it there now. That's fine. Perfect, that'll do. Swing it back. That's right, just take the coffee off and put it on a rock. I'll put it on one of these rocks because otherwise it'll perfect okay there we go so what you want to do is you want to uh, get the water oh it smells really nice and roasted that coffee on that fire yep okay so take the lid off your coffee Well, you can, yeah, I don't mean that. There we go. So that's good enough. So just sprinkle a bit of the cold water on the coffee. Just a tiny bit, just to control it. Oh, good idea, that'll do. Perfect. Okay, so you can put the lid back on. And do we just leave that there then? Yeah, we could leave it a minute or two. It's going to be perfectly hot or we can pour it, pour it straight out. So I've got one of these Wildo folder cups, which I really like. So let's see what this coffee's like, eh? Ooh, look at that. Oh, looks good, son. I'm going to put a drop of whiskey in it, mm. like Tom from Simba Bushcraft since it's New Year. A Christmas present. Yeah, it has gone down quite a lot since Christmas Day, I know. Lockdown and all that. So, Happy New Year to you all. Let's try this, eh? Isaac's first coffee. Oh, that's good. Really good. Well, that's warming on a cold day, son. Yeah. Oh, I think I might have a nap this afternoon after that. The <laughs> coffee doesn't keep me awake. Oh, that's great. Is it? Yeah, well done. Oh, I'm pleased. So, what's next? Well, we've got the bread to make next. Bannock, yeah. yeah. Join, us, join us for the bannock. Yeah. So, while I drink that coffee with a nice bit of whiskey in it, I am, um, well, we're going to wait for the embers just to calm down a little bit, aren't we? Uh, we might put a bit more, just get, make sure there's plenty of embers because it's a cold, damp day. So we mix the bannock mixture already, and basically it's one cup of plain flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of sugar, and a handful of raisins for making the sweet one. And uh, that's all, and it mi mixes it up into a dough and then it's ready to cook and you do it in the pan, we'll show you that. Lots of people do it on YouTube, uh, but Isaac's never done it before, so we'll, uh, we'll show him doing that shortly. So, a testament to Sun's coffee. Hardly any grounds at the bottom of the cup. Well done, Sun. Maybe the whiskey helped a bit, maybe. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 
So here's some with his bannock mixture, and that's what it looks like. Yeah. With the raisins in it. Yeah. Doesn't look amazing now, but it will sooner or later. Well, it looks pretty amazing to me. I'm sure it tastes yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we need to get the pan on. Yep. Uh, and then you melt the butter and then pour that in the pan. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. So, Isaac, do you want to open up there? Yeah. This tin. Take the lid off, that's it. Cool. Got the butter Oh, there's inside. a magic knob of butter. This mess tin comes with the knob of butter already provided. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, pay right. extra. <laughs> right. So, this is one to melt the butter, so you can just stick the pan on there for a while. So, hopefully the embers should cook that. Yeah, they're hot embers now. Yeah. We can... And you see that butter starting to melt straight away. Right, so the butter's nicely melting now and it's just beginning to bubble. So do you want to put your mixture in the pan? Yeah, let's do it. No, all in one ball. I'm trying. Only one ball, that's it. Turn it up, turn it up and just lob it out. That's it, that's what you want to do. All in one ball. No, not in bits, all in one ball. Scrape it from the back, get it all in. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, get last bit in. Oh, this smoke's getting in your eyes, that'll be the last bit now. Now get that big lump in. That's it, perfect. Look at that. That'll do. Let's get on the heat, shall we? So just flatten it a little bit. Not too hard. No, 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 not too hard, just gently. Otherwise it'll stick to you. That's it. And if we just leave that now, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let me give you that. There we go. How's that? Yeah. So we've got a lovely bed of embers now, so I'm perfect for cooking the bannock on. That's hot. Yeah. And you can see the butter's bubbling away nicely and around the edges. It's not sticking yet. And the dough's puffing up, which means it's cooking. Right, time to flip it, son. Okay, let's go. So Isaac wasn't sure about flipping it, so I thought I'd flip it for him. Oh, that's looking nice. Oh, look at that, beautiful and golden. Look at that, Isaac. Wow. That looks and smells delicious. Well done with the mix, son. I'm putting it in. That's going to be delicious. So we've just flipped it over again. And as you can see, both sides are cooking nicely and it's thickened up and puff of, puffed up. Not burning at all. The embers are burning just nicely. What do you think, Ruby? You're going to try some when it's cool? What do you think, son? I think she'll like it. I think she'd want some. But she can't have raisins, can she? Oh, no, she can't. No, you're not allowed to have raisins or grapes, Ruby. Good thinking, Batman. Thank you. <laughs> right, you two, shall we see if your bannock's cooked? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at that, well and truly puffed up. I think it is cooked, son. We'll take it off the heat now. It's piping hot. So, like with any bread, a good indicator of whether it's cooked. You got that nice drum sound from patting it, and it's you can see how much it's puffed up. Look at that, delicious! Right, so shall we break it open, see if it's cooked inside? It's a bit hot, yeah, but um, don't think we'll need any gloves or anything though. Oh, ah, 
Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Deliciously fluffy. I think that looks amazing. That's going to be beautiful. Shall I uh, try something? I think it's a bit hot to try, but I'll I'll have a go. Oh god, that's delicious. Do you think? That's really delicious. Do you want some as well, Ruby? Crispy on the outside, soft and fluffy in the middle. Sweet with the sugar and raisins. Just what you want. Yeah. On a hot day like today, that's delicious. Your mum's going to like that. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so this Christmas's whiskey was Talisker single malt, um, which was a pr Christmas present from a brother. Um, and... Uh, I'd gone off single bit of single malt for a while, but this has reignited my enthusiasm. This is really nice. Starts off sweet, then goes smoky and then PT. Really nice, really nice single malt this one. And it goes superbly well with the bannock. Um so yeah I can thoroughly recommend that too. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Uh Isaac and I were wondering what to do under the present circumstances and um, I think Isaac's done really well so if there's any youngsters watching this particularly some of Isaac's friends uh, Sam and uh, Connor and Liam I know you watch these videos any other of your friends watch them I'm sure there is yeah and yeah. if anybody else that we haven't mentioned wants to have a go the bannock is really easy to make um, and the one stick fire Sorry, the one match fire. If you get it right, it's all about getting it right and uh, preparing and taking the time to do something right. So wherever you are, wherever you are in the world and wherever you're watching this, yep. um, have a good 2021. Yes. I have a lot of faith in human science and human knowledge. Humankind put man on the moon. And Neil Armstrong relied on a lot of human knowledge to put him there. We can send pictures through the air that come through to our screens. We can fly to the other side of the world and explore the universe. So I'm fully confident that our scientists are going to defeat this virus and I'm quite proud of the fact that I'm going to be having the, the Oxford vaccine tomorrow we should be celebrating the fact that humans are clever and we can overcome adversity and we can move onwards and upwards and there's nothing that we can't achieve if we put our mind to it so keep yourself keep yourself safe everybody and uh, have a good year I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you very much to all the uh, subscribers. Um, Harry, if you're watching this, I've got your email. I hope you're okay over there in Canada. Smitty at large, I hope you're okay. I have got the Trangia Triangle and I really do like it. And to everybody else, have a good year. And um, if Isaac and I can't get out to the woods, we'll do some more stuff in the garden, eh, son? So uh, thanks for watching and goodbye. Take care. You gonna yeah. say goodbye? Yeah. Too busy eating this. Too, it's too busy eating too busy eating your banner, can't you son? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers guys. Bye. Wow. Dad wasn't wrong, that is really nice. 
should definitely try and make this at home whenever you can.